Hi, welcome back. And in this project video, I'll show you how I created this small vase using this blue and black colouring effect that's been inspired by the work of Gary Lowe. So to start this project off, I've got this section of wood that's mounted between centres. It's seven inches by four inches. I think it's either beech or oak, but I'm not too sure. First thing I'm going to do is turn it around, and I'm going to put a tenon on it, flip it around and put it into the chuck properly, shape the outside, hollow it, and give it all good sand. And then we'll start the decorating. Now the observant of you will notice that everything's a bit white around here and if you've seen Instagram you'll know why. It's because I painted this or spray painted this white. Having done that I really decided I didn't like it and I wanted to do something completely different. Rather than watch me go through all the process of painting it and removing it I've just simply removed that part of the video and I've gone straight back to how I was. What I'm going to do is I'm going to colour it blue and black. Now to do that, I'm going to use the blue, royal blue, spirit stain from Chestnut. I'm going to put a base layer of that down first to make the whole thing really blue. Then I'm going to come back over that with some black acrylic paint and apply some sort of a marble effect over the top. The reason for using the spirit stain with the acrylic paint is that hopefully spirit and acrylic shouldn't mix with each other too much and cause too much of a, of a mix up. It should keep it a little bit defined, but we shall see. So the first thing is I've got my royal blue in the uh, airbrush. Let's get it painted. Okay, so I've waited a few minutes for the blue to properly dry. Now I'm going to use a sea sponge. And I'm using a sea sponge because it's got the really big texture to it. What I'm going to do is, well, what I have done here is I've got some of this Mars acrylic black. And I'm just using the brush, just dab it on and spread it around. What that does is it takes off all of the excess, leaving you without too much paint on the brush or on the sponge. Then we can just dab that all over. Okay, that's applied. So I'm going to leave that to dry now uh, and then I will uh, give it a final finish. Okay, so I've waited for the acrylic paint to dry and now I'm just going to give it a few coats of clear lacquer. So it's a few days later and several coats of lacquer applied. What I'm going to do now is just going to give it a bit of a polish and I'm going to use some teacup for this. So I'm not going to use a lot, uh, just to put a small bit on the towel and I'm just going to set the lathe at a really slow speed. Just give it a bit of a polish up. Now hopefully you'll see that's given it just a really glorious little shine now. So all that's left to do is part it off. And there we have the finished piece. So I've just sanded off the bottom and given it a coat of black colouring. And I will apply my maker's mark to that once it's uh, warmed up. Um, so there you go. That was a, a really interesting project. Um, never tried anything like that before with the, with the colouring. Quite like it. I think it needs a little bit of work. Um, I think I might be interested to try it with some different colours as well. I might have liked the blue to have been a little brighter, but I think I've got some ideas on how I can achieve that. Thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you soon for another project. <laughs>